Hello and welcome to the Engitin channel. Today I will present using a practical approach these nice flow sensors that I am presenting now to measure fluids or liquids. So the objective of this video is demonstrate how this sensor works, which electronic component is inside it, and how we're gonna test connecting the wires in respective positions. And finally, I will explain how is the principle of work about these three models of flow sensor. So let's start talking about the small one, flow sensor. Inside this flow sensor, there is a small electronic component that is how effect sensor. Let me emphasize about the channel now. So I have other videos about this kind of sensor. Basically the how effect sensor is present in a lot of devices. So if you like this such of content, please consider to subscribe to support the channel. So returning to the flow sensors, this one that I'm having here, it's the small one of the three that I present in the beginning of the video. The first thing that you can see is about the flow rate. So as you can see, this flow rate is around 0 0.3 until 6 liters per minute. However, do we your small size there are some limitations and one of them is respect about the pressure of work so this model can support a maximum pressure of 0 0.8 mpa so if you have more than this pressure probably we will got some error in the measuring in the same way if you put a too low pressure we could got some error doing the minimum value of flow that is 0 0.3 liters per minute going forward let's talk about the wiring basically we have uh, three different colors for the wires so the red one and the black one wires is necessary for provide the power for the sensor and the other one usually is yellow one is responsible for generate the pulses according to the flow that is passing through the flow sensor this is because we have uh, how effect sensors inside that we are going to read the turbine rotation inside the flow sensor and will generate pulses according to the speed of the rotation of the turbine other important detail that is good to emphasize is about the direction of the flow because usually there is an indication like this model here where we have in the bottom of the sensor an arrow that indicates the right direction of the flow so for this sensor when you look face down we can see that the flow needs to go to the left to the right otherwise when you look face up the direction is right to the left now we have other such of flow sensor this one is a transparent one and as you can see it's possible to see internally the the gear or the turbine that is responsible to move when you have some kind of fluid throwing to the flow sensor and this such of movement of the gear will be detected for the how effect sensor because there is a magnet attached in the gear now let's move for the last one flow sensor so this model has connection with threads with the size of the connection of half inch talking about the flow rate this model has the capacity between 1 to 30 
liters per minute and should work with a pressure less than 2 MPa. Regarding for electrical connection, is the same for all models. We have black, red and yellow wires. Let's review the flow rate for the transparent model that I didn't mention before. The flow rate is between 1 until 30 liters per minute and the pressure should be less than 1.75 MPa. So let's summarize the three models that we talk about. Model YF401, 0 0.3 to 6 liters per minute, pressure should be less than 0 0.8 MPa. The transparent model is YFS201C. The range of the flow is 1 to 30 liters per minute and the pressure should be less than 1.75 MPa. And the last one the black model is YFS201. The range of the flow rate is 1 to 30 liters per minute and the pressure should be less or equal to 2 MPa. So hope have clarified some doubts about this such of flow sensor. And if you enjoy this such of content, consider to subscribe to the channel. And finally, thanks for watching. See you soon.